Now, theft for retailers has always been a big problem. So every time they lose an item, they have to sell 50 more of this to make up for the one that they lost. And many of those losses occur at checkout scanners by cashiers and customers. The National Retail Federation says an estimated $14 billion is lost annually in scan avoidance. I'm going to pass a few around the scanner or cover up the barcode, do things such that it doesn't ring up. The scams are brazen. So the target shows you what to keep your eye on. As blatant as throwing items down the belt. So these are items left in the cart. Sometimes accidentally forgetting to scan things. She should look up the code, but instead uh, she ends up uh, just giving it away for free. Or customers just getting frustrated at the self-checkout. But intentional or not, now there's technology that spots it as it happens. It's called StopLift. Malloy Kundu is the founder. And when you see these things, you're like, how could po someone possibly do that? Using artificial intelligence, it can read and flag checkout behaviors. Suspicious transactions can be questioned on the spot and mistakes corrected before anyone is labeled a thief. Call and attend over to give you some customer service. I never expected to find something done purposely. Miguel Garcia is the owner of Big Deal Supermarket in the Bronx and installed StopLift without initially telling his staff. And I was happy afterwards uh, to see that in fact it was mistakes. Garcia says cashiers now know to look for items on the bottom of carts and even slow down to not miss a scan. He says with this technology he's thinking of adding self-checkouts. I think we're actually going to see in helping this theft prevention. Tech expert Noah Birnbaum agrees this can keep profits in the stores, even passing savings to the consumers. That there's going to be more of this adoption to the technology, and I think that over time we will see uh, less shrinkage in inventory loss. And the experts say consumers are five times more likely to forget to scan an item at self-checkout versus one with a cashier. But retailers say it's less about locking up bad, uh, bad guys, bad people. They just <laughs> want to protect their hard-earned business.